This is how I took and passed CYSA Plus within 30 days, no prior experience. I'm going to go over how I passed CYSA Plus or SIZA, however you pronounce it. I don't even know how you pronounce it. I'm going to show you the resources I used to pass it. First resource I used, Jason Dion's CYSA Plus course. Um, went through all that, took notes, uh, took the same notes, this handy dandy cyber notebook. Have the notes here, same as Security Plus, just write down topics I need help on. And then I also printed out like pictures of the logs from Dion's videos so that I could just know what was going on, what was happening with the with the logs and stuff. Printing out examples of Dion's logs. Um, very helpful. The more you print out logs, practice reading logs, uh, the better. Because there are a lot of logs in CYSA Plus. After I watched Dion's videos, I took his practice test. And again, in this notebook, um, I wrote down the questions that I needed to work on. So like, for example, it says like Dion test one up here. So I just wrote down like the topics I needed help on. Um, pretty much same type of deal I did with Security Plus. I actually read this book from cover to cover. So I literally read the entire thing, highlighted, uh, took notes. I don't know if you can see that highlight right there or on this page, if it would focus. There we go. But I highlighted, took notes, read this thing from cover to cover like put these little thingies on important pages like here it was common tcp ports so yeah read this thing cover to cover and then took the practice test at the end and took every single practice quiz there was in here and the only cybex book so far i have read cover to cover and this was exam uh zero zero two now I'm going to show you guys the resources I used on Try Hack Me because that is extremely important. Because CYSA is very, very hands-on. So for CYSA, I, I don't know the correct order of these. I'm just guessing because it was kind of like a long time ago when I took CYSA. Um, but from my guess, um, doesn't really matter what order you go in, but I took SOC level one, I did cyber defense frameworks, cyber threat intelligence, um, besides Yara. I didn't do Yara. Um, I did some snort, traffic analysis essentials, Zeke, Wireshark. You need Wireshark, so do Wireshark. Intro to endpoint security, Sysmon, I did all of these. I did Splunk Basics, um, and Elk, which is also very important, so also do those. That's all I did for SOC Level 1. I didn't do SOC Level 2 because I don't think this was out when I was studying. But look, Intro to Logs, Log Operations, Intro to Log Analysis, which is very, very useful. Yeah, Advanced Elk, Detection Engineering. Threat hunting? Ooh. I might have to go through this just on my own. But yeah, log analysis, very important. I would I would do that. SOC level two. At least for CYSA. So for cyber defense, I did introductory networking, networking services, Wireshark 101, Windows Fundamental, AD Basics, Nessus Miter, uh, Splunk Basics, Splunk 2. Didn't do any OS query, but that's also useful, just in general. Yeah, so that's basically all the try hack me stuff I used. 
I also forgot to mention that I also went through certified breakfast CUSA Plus YouTube videos after Dion to go over the other stuff I was having trouble with. Forgot to mention that. Also, my practice test results from Dion, I'm gonna put on the screen somewhere in these areas. There they are. So yeah, that's basically it. The only practical resources I used was TriHackMe. So I think with TriHackMe, you'll be fine. I heard Let's Defend is good too, but I personally did not use Let's Defend, but I heard it's a good resource too for log analysis and stuff for CYSA. Hope you guys got something out of that. Hope it helped.